Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Diaz, and here I have another recommendation. But this time around, it's for Paint to Sci version 1. So it says, how can I save a, a work in progress artwork? Because when I go back on the art, all the layers merge and I can't draw properly. So let's help this poor unfortunate soul. Here I already have an existing, um, I, I mean, I already drew like a Kerbal here. So let's add some layers to it though. Let's add some hearts to it. Some wonderful hearts. Let me add a star. Some stars. So there. There's layers there. And now I'm going to teach you how to save it. So um, you go oh, click on save as. And boom. Make sure you pick on which um, file you want to save it as. So you won't get like lost whenever you want to go revisit the artwork make sure it's on a, like an easy accessible file where you could just search it right away so make sure the file yeah so that, make sure the file type is on um point sci make sure it's just that here there's other options where you could save it as make sure but if you want to keep on revisiting it it'll keep on adding stuff to your artwork Make sure you save it as a psi. And name it whatever you want, but make sure that point psi is on the last is on the last name of your, you know, artwork. So it will save it as a psi, just in case, you know, just in case if it doesn't save it, make sure that point psi at the end of it, it's still there on the name of it though. Okay, so you save it. Boom. Um now. So every time you want to like continue on drawing it, make now um, click on file and then save. You don't have to put save as because you already made an existing file for it. So you don't have to keep on clicking save as and create duplicates of the same file in your file selection or your file, your save files. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, so if I could just click on exit here, here I go file open and there's my save file and here if i go to my file selection here's my save file click on it and all the all the layers are still there you can keep on adding stuff to it as well add circles save boom that's how you save it um how, that's how you save and paint to sci version one um i'm gonna show you how to export as well so you click on export and click on either save it as a .png or save it as a .jpg. Um, I recommend saving it as a PNG because if you save it as a JPEG, some people say your um, artwork gets, gets compressed and it gets pixelated and skewed and just like all in all bad. It won't look good. Your art will look, look, won't look good. So I recommend saving it as a PNG. Um, but if you want to save it as a JPEG, go for it. Make sure the file type is PNG, name it whatever you want, just make sure the N of the name of it is a .png, so you save it. And here the G PNG save options. Um, if, you, if you're trying to save it as a transparency, like if the background is a transparency, make sure you click on each pixel each pixel has opacity so the the background could be a transparent background but if you don't have that if you don't want a transparent background make sure you click on the first option of it so you click on ok boom and there's your saved exported artwork and there's your saved um, artwork your work in progress artwork so you can keep on revisiting it and adding new elements to it so that's that's basically it. That's basically it. This is all for ver f the first version of Paint to Sci, not the second version. The first version of Paint to Sci. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. It's still the same process of this um, of the saving with the second version, but you know it could be a little difficult, you know, and it can it could be a little hard on the first version. So you know I'm just making it just in case if someone gets confused. So. I hope this video was helpful for you.